Hi, I'm Doug from the product team here at Sophos, and this is going to be a quick demo of our Intercept X Advanced with EDR product. Now, our end user here has been tricked into downloading what they've been promised is an application capable of leveraging artificial intelligence to magically create pies from nothing, out of thin air. Come on. Okay, no judgment, but of course, no pie either due to this being impossible. And we can already see a mystery zip file on the desktop here. And of course, our user is going to try to download a Pi. That's going to result in another file here called Dropper. Not a proud day for our organization in general, but luckily Sophos Endpoint Protection detects Dropper and cleans it up. But notice that the application itself is still running. It's time to investigate. So as an admin, here's what we'll be looking at in Sophos Central. We've got the alert here and at the top of our most recent threat cases. Let's click on that. And you'll notice right away that we've already got a reasonably clear idea of what happened. In this summary box, we've got the detection name, where it came from, how many business files were involved, which machine and which user are involved, and when everything happened. So a good overview. And then helpfully in the suggested next steps box, We've got something of a roadmap to follow in order to clean things up. We should first set a status for the threat case. We should investigate the processes that have been marked as uncertain in the graph below, dropper and recipe addicts tool, both marked with an orange icon. We should isolate this machine and scan it. So let's isolate this computer right away to ensure that the attack, if it's truly an attack, doesn't move laterally to other machines on our network and isn't able to use this machine to move files outside of our organization. Now back in our user's machine, they get a message saying that their computer has been isolated. So that means a couple of things. First, these files that our user was able to access on the network are no longer accessible. Great, that will take care of our exfiltration problem, even data on shared and network drives. Second, to ensure that data isn't stolen from this computer and to prevent further malware downloads, it'll no longer be able to access the internet. We're looking now at the machine of a remote attacker that might be connected to our user's machine in real time. And you can see that since the machine has been isolated, the attacker has been cut off from it as well. Okay, we've successfully isolated the machine. Now let's take a look at these uncertain processes. What we see here is that Windows Explorer, the root cause, ran this thing called Recipe Addicts Tool which we're uncertain about, which then ran this thing called Dropper, which we're also uncertain about. However, Dropper exhibited a behavior that Intercept X knew to be malicious. So if you recall, it was killed earlier on in the attack sequence. So we need to go check out Recipe Addicts tool now because we're not sure about it, but it hasn't exhibited any malicious behavior yet. Taking a closer look, if we click on the process, it'll slide out a panel here where if we haven't already, we could submit the file to Sophos Labs for analysis. And after a couple minutes, it'll come back and we can see that it's somewhere in the middle here. So reasonably suspicious. The report summary tab gives us a little more info, including a brief overview of the machine learning analysis that was run on the file. Here's where we start to see that this is looking more and more suspicious. So then popping over the machine learning analysis tab, we see, yes, although this file's attributes weren't overly suspicious, its similarity to other known bad code is getting up there and its file and path are extremely suspicious. So it's become pretty clear that this file has gone from suspicious to malicious thanks to our Sophos Labs intelligence and our machine learning technology. So let's click the blue search button here to see if this file is present on other machines in our organization. It looks like it's also on one other machine. And the nice thing is that when we go to clean and block it on the machine from which we originated the search, it'll be cleaned and blocked from all the other machines in our organization as well. This will kill the active process and remove it from the disk. And should we accidentally clean and block a file that's not meant to be removed, there's an undo function that's available in case files need to be restored. Okay, back to our user's machine where this malicious tool has been running. We'll see that it's now being blocked, and even though this machine is isolated, it can still communicate with Sophos Central, which, as you'll recall, we just used to clean and block it. 
and there we go, the active process gets killed and the executable is deleted. Once we got the machine cleaned up, we can then head back into Sophos Central and remove it from isolation. And back on the user's machine, they get a message that they're back in business. This means the access has been restored to the file share. And this means that the internet access has been restored as well. So that's one possible way we may handle things. But let's suppose instead that we subscribe to some sort of threat alerts feed that warns us of this new attack going around and we've got a hash or a file name to work with. Well, even if we don't yet have an event or this hasn't been detected, maybe this is in our organization somewhere, but it hasn't been run yet, we can search for this indicator of compromise using just the hash or the file name. And we can see here that yes, there are a couple instances of this malicious file sitting on the desktops of two machines in our organization. So before it has even had a chance to run, we can clean it up and block it across the entire estate. So that's a quick look at Sophos Intercept X Advanced with EDR. For more information, visit sophos.com slash intercept X.